Hi friends and welcome back. It's Jason and today we are talking about a sci-fi book that I just finished reading. It was recommended to me by a fellow book talker on TikTok and I really enjoyed this book and the book I'm talking about is called Mickey 7 by Edward Ashton. It is a really, really cool story, and I mean, it's not a big book. It's a very easy read. It's only 300 pages, but a lot goes on in those 300 pages. Basically, the premise of the book is humanity is terraforming. They're, they're exploring the galaxy. They're terraforming various planets, and on each one of these missions, there's a what they call an expendable. And basically what that is, is it's a human who has um, volunteered in some cases to um, go into dangerous situations and not always come out. But what happens is they upload their consciousness and uh, their memories and all of that prior to go into, you know, say like repairing a reactor core on a spaceship or going and exploring a dangerous cave, knowing that they may get killed. They may not come out of these situations. So what happens is uh, afterwards they are regenerated into a uh, new iteration of themselves. And this plot line centers around Mickey seven or the seventh iteration of this particular uh, individual named Mickey Barnes. And it's a really neat story because what happens, and I, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but the, the, you can get this by reading the book jacket. Basically what happens is um, Mickey seven is left for dead. Um, and, uh, you know, they regenerate his replacement or Mickey eight. The thing is, um, Mickey seven is mysteriously rescued and I'm not going to say how, um, but he, um, he gets his way back to their base or what they call the dome and meets Mickey eight. So the whole story ensues basically at that point is they can't really, they have this thing against multiples or more than one of these expendables. So the whole premise of the book is Mickey seven and Mickey eight hiding this from their commanders so that they don't get caught and they don't get both don't get destroyed and they create Mickey nine. So basically um, that's the premise of the book. It's a really neat story that focuses on things like the soul and immortality and are these really humans uh, because they've been replaced so many times. Um, are they the original? Are they still Mickey? Um, you know, things like that. And it's, it's a really interesting story in that regard. And the fact that the author Edward Ashton can do all of this in 300 pages is pretty amazing. So it's actually a really good story and I definitely recommend it. So, um, if that sounds like something that might interest you, please check out Mickey seven. And if you've read this, leave a comment down below if, and once you do, if you do decide to read this, please come back, leave a comment while you're down there, hit like on this video. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more book reviews like this, please hit subscribe, come back, and I will see you again next time.